Okay, um, I'm going to introduce you to uh, how to do stuff on Channel Z. Um, first, you have to get to Channel Z. This is what it's uh, looks like somebody's been trying to do stuff on it. Maybe it was just me. Um, you go to www.channelz, or, or I think this would work, cez.me. Hit return. It goes to the same place. So ce c3z.me will go to the same website it gets expanded out to channel z and uh, this is what you should see um, this is the default view um, for oculus this is what i use because um, it's just small enough to fit inside the default screen but uh, this is what i use on desktop and uh, first thing you do uh, when creating a playlist is you go click on that um, that that title is a link so you click on that and then um, it auto generates a four digit number and a musician a passcode so this musician uh, came from a database of 180,000 musicians and uh, and uh, then it just uh, you can just hit submit and it'll create this link here you take that link and you drag it up into your bookmark bar and then you click on it and it shows you this now um, whoops if you hit select you, it goes into selection mode there's normally just a bunch of Elvis videos in there uh, the reason why I do that uh, I'll talk about later but uh, for now I'll just erase these videos out of here and then I'm just gonna go and add some back I'm gonna do a simple search adjust the configuration set it for any any definition, any duration, any dimension, uh, video type, any uh, set maximum results for 50 and uh, ra um, for not rating but do by relevance and none any and the rest of these settings don't really matter um, you put something here like minus parity. I hate where they put mu do musician parity, so I put my musician parity in there. And uh, we're, we're going to focus on 80s music. So then I just put 80s in there. Then I get back out of this. Uh, I, I close this this tab, and I go back to the uh, the search bar. And I pop in uh, Adamant, and notice that it uh, auto fills. And if I just put Adamant, then it uh, it will actually show you um, albums by Adamant. If you want to look for albums, you can do that. And then I'll do a search. Takes a little while. And then it gets me some Adam Ant music videos. So I Goody Two Shoes, Stand and Deliver, Strip. Uh, or I did Goody Two Shoes, did I? Yeah. Uh, desperate but not serious. Let me see. He was kind of, he was not really a one-hit wonder, he was a, um, a fossil, I'll say. There was a time when he was really popular, and, uh, and it was in the early 80s, before Madonna. Frindolfo. Let me see, I don't want wonderful. Prince Charming, let's do that. Uh. 
room at the top, and I don't know that one. I'll just do that one, two, and plus some boots. I'm just going to get everything he's got. It's Apollo 9. Dog eat dog, yeah. He's got some, he got some, uh, looks like some, uh, Roxy music in there. That music. Wow, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. I think that'll be it. Now I'll just add that to my channel. There's the videos. I will, um, it, there is a way you can edit the videos, but it currently is not working for me. You'll see right here if I try to do something and it, uh, it stops me from doing it. Um, uh, but I've, I'll fix this uh, sometime this week maybe. What it's supposed to let you do is select um, a play range. Um, from start one part of the video start from one pin of the video to the end other end of the video Also to adjust the volume level and this one adjusts the entire playlist loudness This is if in case you've got one video that is really quiet and you just made a whole playlist of stuff that was um, louder than the other video and you can't make it any any louder you can't make the quiet video any louder um, you can lower the loudness of the entire playlist and then adjust the volume of that individual video or not and uh, just make everything the same loudness as the quiet video so that people are encouraged to turn up their volume and uh, the volumes will not change or the, the amplitude will not change for the entire playlist um, is the it, part of the reason why I have this in here is to encourage that uh, the, vo the the videos all have the same amplitude. Um, I do that by default setting amplitude to 25 uh, rather than 100. And at 25 you can make things quieter or you can make them louder. And um, you will do that uh, according to how loud the video is or how quiet it is because of the person who encoded it um didn't wasn't concerned as much about their recording volume so this lets you adjust that and uh it's supposed to allow you to uh to go through each video in the list and uh adjust the the information the the start and end times and the uh, amplitude um, starting end times, the reason why for that is to remove pro promotional video content off of the video. Uh, some people like to put little advertisements, hey, buy my album, you know, get my shirt, uh, subscribe to my tube. And this is to eliminate that, to take that crap out of there. Because it just detracts from the video altogether. And if anybody was really interested in it, they probably would click through to the YouTube channel to get that info, to get that stuff. But the promotional stuff is just extra advertisement that nobody cares about, you know. And it's, and it's, and it's even more bothersome whenever it's on a video that is unoriginal, is not original to the person that put it up. You know, somebody that's... Uh, puts up a culture club video and they're not culture club and they're asking for people to buy their shirts um, I don't feel badly to take that stuff off there by setting the starting endpoints on the video YouTube doesn't let people do this uh, they should but they they let the people who use the embed player to do it so I just take advantage of that fact now let's go back to the selection screen And you're probably wondering how I would get a lot more videos out of here. I mean, into here. There, there's tricks. One of the tricks is to select a video in here and uh, click Get Related. 
And what it does is it searches for videos that are related to that video on YouTube using uh, relational search. So we got some animation. We'll put that in there. Uh, Romeo Void. Yeah, some of those. Some Go Go's. Um, some Dead or Alive. Maybe. I don't want some Billy. I'm not going to put any Billy Idol in there. JJ Osman. Yeah. I don't want Lady Gaga. Maybe Walla Voodoo. And, oh, this has got some really good videos in here. And, you know, they got a lot of good content in here. Missing Persons. Uh, the Tubes. Top 10 Cheesiest One-Hit Wonders of 1980s. That's pr probably coming from somebody who doesn't, who was never an 80s child. Um, people who have the biggest opinions about uh, stuff from the past are usually people that don't ha have any experience with it. And uh, I don't like that uh, jungle boy thing, you know. Yeah, music, Berlin, No More Words was a fantastic music video. Split Ends, the lead singer of Split Ends is now the lead singer of um, Fleetwood Mac. They got rid of Lindsey Buckingham and they replaced him with uh, Neil Finn of Split Ends. Yeah, Power Station, let's put some in there, some like it hot. So this is going to become an 80s music, and, and I just started with Adam Adamant because uh, he's a fossil, and it's going to encourage that the videos that it picks are from that time of the in the 80s, which is the early 80s. Der Commissar, Only the Lonely. <laughs> I touched myself. Now it was late late 80s. Okay. Hit add content. And then here we go. More videos. That's one way of adding videos. Another way of adding videos is um, we're in the arrangement mode and there are some bookmarklets here. We can take a YouTube image based code sucker, bring it up here to the top. Then we can take a little trip to YouTube. And. Uh, And at YouTube, we can do a search for, uh, um, let's say, 80s music playlists. Playlists. Let's do Billboard playlist. Billboard. Billboard 1981. There we go. And uh, playlist. We want playlists. We don't want these one-hour videos. So the greatest hits. And I said 1981, and I'm seeing, already seeing some Guns N' Roses. I have no interest in that. I really hate Guns N' Roses, to tell you the truth. Um, Ultimate 80s playlists. Oh, there we go. Billboard Top 100 of 1981. And we select that. And then uh, we go we, we go through all of this. Actually, let's see if we can just show the playlist. Okay, there. So this is the playlist. And what I do is I, I basically make sure that all of these images are loaded because each image has got a video code built into it. Now, if this doesn't work, there's other there's other methods of getting these videos out. But I'll click this, and that didn't work. So what we do is we go back to that, and I get another bookmarklet from here. It's in the selection screen. I think no, it's not. It's in arrangement. 
was there. I just didn't. The Channel Z bookmarklet, I use that. Then I go back to my video list. Go through all the videos again. You know, I think this one will do image based. It, uh, it it's showing me a different view. So let me try to do YouTube based again. I think it's going to work this time. There we go. And we can go through and select these. Jesse's girl. Cool in the game. Daryl Hall. Skip all the non video content. I mean non action content. I don't want you just in no rapture. I'll take this uh, woman needs love. And uh, that's is that really 80s? I thought that was 70s. Climax. I'll do it anyhow. That's a good song. And Abba, where it takes all. This is actually 70s music. I think maybe it's 80s. I don't know. Since it's 81, you're pretty much going to get some 70s in there on accident. Air supply, I don't want any air supply. No Oak Ridge Boys, Ronnie Millsap, no. Somebody, th whoever put up this playlist. Uh, well, it was Billboard Top 100, so you know it's going to have stuff in there. Transfer, boy from New York City, okay. Urgent. Rod Stewart's Passion. Don McLean. Marty Ballin, yeah, hearts. That's one I only learned about recently. Uh, he is the head of Jefferson Airplane, uh, which became Jefferson Starship. Something in the air. More than I can say. Okay. Here we go. Too much time on my hands. And the police do do da da. Cliff Richard, a little more love. I don't really know that song. Take that one out. Ain't even done with the night. Another one bites of the dust. And while you see a chance, there we go. Add those content to the channel. And uh, then I go up to the arrangement screen. And so we got a little small thing of videos. We, we could add more, but I'll just stick with this list. And then you go up to the top here, and this is um, where you put the title for it. So we'll call it uh, 1981 um, Adam Ant Inspired Playlist. Or I'll just say channel. Yeah, just, just say Adam Ant Inspired. And it's music channel. And so if I go up here and click and I and put in music see it it'll, it'll give you a suggestion as to what to put in there and uh, then I can shuffle the deck so that things are a little bit out of order and uh, save order I'll save the order for the for those videos and if I go to um, the, oh, yeah, you can also move videos around like this. The selection screen is just a different way of, of uh, 
working with the content. Like I can select these videos and randomize them. And, uh, oh, you can weed out content, which takes a little bit longer. You might want to clean it. The clean it, what it does is it removes redundant videos from the, so if I hit clean, it will, it shouldn't remove anything. So there shouldn't be any redundant videos in there. And, uh, let's see, and set band doesn't, uh, that's something I probably should take out. It doesn't have any. These here are more for, um, uh, if you've got time, uh, if, you, if in my case I had, a, I have a script that automatically generates, uh, starting in times for the videos as well as the amplitude levels. And that's whenever I've got a huge list of thousands of videos, I will use those scripts and sometimes they get things wrong. So I'll come through here and I'll select the videos that got it wrong and I'll hit reset times and it'll reset the time on those videos. Um, okay, but let's go back to the arrangement screen. And what weed, by the way, what weed is is it will go through and it looks at the last several thumbnail images of each video and if the video images are different then it makes the assumption that the uh, video has live content and if, if the images are the same then it assumes that the the videos are like stale images with music and that's what happens when people upload albums and so to encourage that the video content is live and active um, I, I weed my videos before I um, present them so then we can go to the channel list uh, uh, directory uh, and there it is and then we just click on it uh, there's three modes here um, this one is television mode and there's a non TV mode and then there's a hundred percent random and the 100% random uses uh, basically every time it picks a video, it does it completely at random. Um, and it uses the Unix timestamp to randomize the seed uh, random number generator. So it's it will be random. Um, the non-TV mode, I'll just show you what it looks like. Um, Stand in the video. Okay. And then here is where I can select my videos. And I can go back to the, uh, watch the video. Or I could go over here. Go back to the video content. And uh, and if you hover over the videos, it'll tell you what it is. Foreigner, urgent. Go goes. Our lips are sealed, which is a great video. It's when they first came out, and everybody's like, "Oh, who are these?" Ladies, and you can resize the screen if you change the size of your window. Like if I make it smaller, or make it make it a little bit smaller, like this. I hit resize screen, it'll resize the video to that screen. And uh, this lets me select my channels. So I can go to and go to the next channel. See what.
Let's see what this is. So I got some uh, Johnny Carson in there. Joan Rivers. So this is, goes back a long ways. And I go back to my music videos. If you've got a playlist set up and uh, you can, and you're watching music videos here you can bookmark them into the playlist that you are authoring. Uh, you can also choose to author this playlist. Let me change the size of the screen. I can adjust the volume of this. I can author this video. I mean this uh, playlist. And then I'll create a new It'll let me create another playlist so I can hit submit and drag this into there. And this is just another playlist um, containing all the same videos that were in there up to 100 of the same videos. And then I can go ahead and uh, modify the playlist and call it something else, something else. You go back to the playlist directory and there we go we got two videos something else and ant inspired uh, once it's up there's no way of taking it down um, i probably should uh, modify that by adding a uh, little a little switch that you can adjust whether it's public or private but uh, currently just everything that's in there just gets put into the uh, the channel and I may end up trying to remove some of these Elvis videos because this means that somebody's created a playlist and they didn't bother to uh, change the content. So, let me see. I, I think I covered everything. How to, how to bring all playlists in and stuff like that. Uh, how to set it up for Altspace VR. Um, you go into... You turn your Oculus mode on, then you go down into one of the videos, and uh, you select hands off, which appears off the edge of the screen. If I adjust the, get my, that, and then move this up. See, there's a link down here that says hands off, and then it will give you your default um, your default um, instructions on how to set up your uh, remote control and uh, then you just open up another web browser such as in this case and you type in there cz.me slash um, ECCB enter there you go and there's uh, some this undefined index um, which will change if I if I update the screen it'll go away and uh, I can once I go to the next channel it will it will update the entire screen And if uh, you get tired of thumbing through, thumbing through the videos, you get tired of doing that, you can go through this, through this uh, schedule. And the limits of the schedule are up to four hours in the future, or eight hours in the future. I can like select a Paul McCartney video right there.
So that's that's how to get your uh, video set up on uh, on your alt space. And uh, you're probably wondering about the other modes. Um, going back, uh, okay. Change it back to a regular video mode. This, we still have the schedule. Um, the schedule is available even in regular video mode. I'll go to Ant Adamant Inspired here. Now, if you go to um, this RMID right here, and you select that, if you got a cell phone, you can aim it at this uh, this QR code, and it'll give you a remote, or you can s select the link above here. I'm going to do a middle click on that so that I can go back to the video content, and I can see it already gives me a schedule. And the reason why it gives me a schedule off the bat rather than giving me uh, buttons is because I already have a channel selector up here in the volume control. So I can already adjust that stuff. There's no point in having it uh, there. So it gives me a schedule. And, uh, and none And you can control this video and you can go through to YouTube. Um, my most recent uh, modifications on uh, this software is in the alt space stuff. So I, I, haven't, I haven't been in this part of uh, Channel Z in a while. Um, this, this is no TV. There's random, which is guaranteed to be completely random playback. Um, See, I, res I resized it and it gave me a different video. If I resize the screen again, it'll give me a different video. So that's what random mode is. And I notice that I don't have this video in my playlist. I can go ahead and say save to something else. Then I can go to the playlist directory. And uh, if I go in and check my uh, playlist, see which one. I think that was this one, GM Patterson. No, it wasn't that one. It was the, I think it was a Denise Trudeau. Is that it? Let me uh, turn toggle tool tips. There it is. You see. And uh, so that's that's Channel Z. That's all the things. Oh, um, there's still one more thing. If you go up here and you change this to station, and you select that, then it should pop open with a choice of up to 10 playlists that you can use. So I've put three here. It's giving me errors because, uh, yeah, it has nothing to do. It has to do with these things over here. Um, then you can put 
uh, music and it'll give you a choice of uh, so we'll pick uh, best of we, we're focusing on 80s so we can select from existing 80s so the UK pop charts and uh, do another music and uh, classic rock concerts maybe let's see I can I see any oh there's billboard 84 and then uh, select uh, talk and let's see short documentaries usually should interviews that's what I want so now it's got and then what this represents down here is this represents the ordering of the various playlists within a, a normal playback so I might want to shuffle these until they're pretty much none of them are bordering on each other is well randomized and this is, looks pretty well randomized it's still kind of yeah this is better and then I can say save order and I can go to check my playlist and uh, video unavailable darn so um can't do anything about it uh right now i'd have to mess with the script uh, the way around that is to go into t into uh no no tv mode So that's Channel Z. So that's the reason why I use Channel Z and I don't use any of that existing YouTube video crap that exists in all space. Sorry to call it video crap, but you know, having a video um, jukebox where people are voting things up and down really doesn't appeal to me. And uh, it really doesn't appeal to me to have to go through that process of, of picking up videos, having to do YouTube searches and select uh, videos uh, each for each search. It really should be more like this um, so that people can, can fill it up, auto fill it up with just tons of videos and then uh, randomize it maybe. But uh, it's never going to be as this easy um, until it is like this okay so there you go that's channel z and i'm going to quit the video